Welcome. Let's explore setting up ClassLink sharing rules. If you're using ClassLink with your Student Information System, or SIS, you can use ClassLink to roster your classes in Seesaw. Setting up your sharing rules in ClassLink allows you to share certain sections from your SIS into Seesaw. Each section shared will be made into a class in your Seesaw for Schools dashboard. It's important that your sharing rules are accurate. Any data that is not included in your sharing rules will not be visible to Seesaw team members or included in your Seesaw and ClassLink sync. Sign in to your ClassLink admin account. You must be a tenant admin in ClassLink in order to set up sharing rules. To set up ClassLink sharing rules, first, you will need to install Roster Server in ClassLink. Roster Server makes one roster format data available to Seesaw and is where you will configure your sharing rules. Note, this is a different application from the SSO application. In Roster Server, tap Imports, Import Now to import your rosters. If you need help installing and setting up Roster Server, please contact ClassLink Support, as Seesaw will not have access to your data until it is shared with us. Next, add Seesaw in Roster Server. From your dashboard in Roster Server, tap Applications or Apps at the top of the screen, then tap Add on the right-hand side of the Applications page. Search for Seesaw and tap the blue Add button. You've downloaded Roster Server and added Seesaw. Next, you will be prompted to choose your permissions. For Seesaw, we recommend that you set custom permissions in order to not share too many classes or students. The goal with setting custom permissions is to create a digital copy in Seesaw of each school that you have purchased Seesaw for Schools for. After adding Seesaw, you will be prompted to set your permissions. Tap Custom Permissions. You can also edit permissions at any time by tapping the pencil and paper icon next to Seesaw in your list of apps in Roster Server. In the Orgs tab, all orgs, or schools, will be selected by default. Unselect any orgs, or schools, that will not be using Seesaw this year. You may need to set the Select by Settings to Select by List in order to make selections. In the Courses tab, select the courses that should be using Seesaw. We recommend sharing only Homeroom Advisory courses if possible. A single class may be split up into multiple subject areas in your SIS for grading purposes. However, sharing multiple subjects or courses in ClassLink will create a unique Seesaw class for each subject, which can be confusing for younger students. For help with setting up your sharing rules, please contact ClassLink Support. Once you have set your sharing rules, check the data you are sharing within RosterSync using Sanity Check. Tap Applications and find Seesaw. Hover over the box next to the paper and pencil icon and tap to run a Sanity Check. Sanity Check shows what you are going to share with Seesaw. Seesaw will only be able to view data that is visible in this Sanity Check. If something is missing in Sanity Check, revise your sharing rules. To make sure everything is correct, check that the number of students matches your Seesaw for Schools subscription purchase and that only the correct classes have been shared. Your data will not automatically begin syncing with Seesaw. Take the time to make any edits you need to your data in ClassLink. Once your data in ClassLink is accurate and ready, you can reach out to Seesaw Support to have our team review your data. For your data to begin syncing with Seesaw, you will need to manually initiate a full sync from your Seesaw Roster Sync dashboard. This begins the flow of data between ClassLink and Seesaw. Once your first sync is complete, 
data in ClassLink will be exactly matched in Seesaw. That's it! That's how you set up sharing rules in ClassLink. If you need assistance with your roster sync dashboard or with your first sync, reach out to Seesaw Support. Find more setup steps and resources here. We recommend bookmarking this page for quick access. Thanks for joining us today. See you again soon!